How do you know if you're stuck in your own narrative? We all have our beliefs about the future. What we work toward is guided by our hopes and desires. We had a good day yesterday, finishing sticks. Mood is good. I think we had a good warm up now, so we'll try do it again, I guess. Do we deceive ourselves by creating our own reality? Two words, poker face. <laughs> Going up a climb, it's something you actually have to remind yourself of. Although you're hurting, the other guys are also hurting. Sheesh, you just gotta hang on. But doesn't everything have power? A capacity to influence us. Epic, you really can't take any kilometers for granted and nothing is free. It really isn't over until you cross the finish line. <laughs> and it was definitely a big change up from the past days. It was wet and definitely muddy and tons of rocks, which was great. We stayed together like as a pack for the first little bit of the race and then towards the, like one of the big long single track climbs, it broke up. And we're having an absolute blast. It's been some insane riding and it's been unbelievable. And then it was total chaos. There was big mud holes and Sarah and I fell off the back, but then we caught up towards the end, and then we got a flat, and then we still rallied back here, so it was a day, a whole day of stuff happening. <laughs> Is our reality our own reality? How do we separate fact from fiction? Brutal from beginning to end, man. This, if anyone said this was an easy day, they definitely were lying. Everybody's like, oh, the Epic never has seven hour stages. And then day two was seven hours. So it's just like day to day, everything is longer than it was expected. So now I just go into the stage and I'm like, cool, I don't trust any of this at all. <laughs> so yeah, I've been deceived a lot. <laughs> Goosebumps being here, so thanks to everyone who's put it on and look forward to what the next few days have in store for us. Anything but mainstream.